Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the X-Men 97 Wolverine. This was one of the figures, one of the characters I was really, really excited about when this wave first got announced. Uh, I've been needing better Wolverines. I have a couple Wolverines um, in my collection. Uh, I have the Age of Apocalypse Wolverine with the cutoff hand. I have the the Wolverine that came with the Bone Breaker Build-A-Figure wave. I have Logan uh, from the, the MCU. I have... Oh gosh, I think that's it. That's all the Wolverines I have. So I really needed just a regular looking classic Wolverine style from this era of X-Men. Uh, like I mentioned, the Bonebreaker wave, that is kind of your typical Wolverine style. But this one is like updated. It has the, the alternate head sculpts. It has the maskless head. It has the pinless body. So it basically took everything that that Wolverine had and improved upon it. So I really needed... A Wolverine like this in my collection so I I was super excited when it first got announced this entire wave everybody in this wave looks so cool and I can't wait to get my hands on them unfortunately uh, the only one at my stores right now left to get is Magneto nobody else showed up except for uh well it says Gambit is there online like I can buy him uh, and pick him up in store, but he's not on the shelf, so I think he's in the back. Maybe I can pick him up. Potentially, that's how it is with the rest of the wave. They just haven't put them on the shelves yet. But, as of right now, they only put up Bishop, Wolverine, and Magneto. I really need to get that Magneto. I'm also kind of like, I don't need him because I also have the Age of Apocalypse Magneto. Uh, one of the Age of Apocalypses, because there was like two waves. There was one, uh... Where the builder figure was Colossus, that's the one Magneto was a part of, and then the other one was, uh, I want to say, it's like Sugar Man or whatever his name is, or one of those weird characters with the short legs. I remember having the builder figure piece with short legs, and I didn't know what to do with uh, that, that piece because I, I couldn't find the whole way. But I digress. That's not what we're here for. We're here for this guy. Um, Let's go ahead and talk about it. You have this nice artwork here on the side of the box. He does look a little pudgy right there. He looks a little, I don't know, like rectangular and then also kind of like a weird wave going on. It looks a little awkward in that art specifically. On the figure itself, it looks perfectly fine. And then up here, he also looks perfectly fine. Uh, you have this nice packaging right here that shows you the figure, of course. All the other characters in the wave right there and their nice little artwork uh, on the back of the box because there is no side of the box. You have... Wolverine, who is just short enough to barely fit into the frame. Uh, if I tilt it, you can see him a little bit better, but then the lighting kind of gets screwed up. Uh, and then you have everybody else in the wave. Of course, like I mentioned, I, I need to get that Magneto, or <laughs> Magneto. I need to get that Gambit so, so badly. I need a Gambit. Gambit's one of my favorite X-Men uh, out of the entire list. It's like Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue's one of them, uh, Deadpool, obviously. He's not really an X-Men, but you know. Of the type, uh, Nightcrawler, I need a Nightcrawler, I need a Beast. I already have a Colossus, but I need regular Colossus because I have the Build-A-Figure Colossus from the, like I mentioned, Age of Apocalypse wave. Um, there's just so many characters. I need Magic, I love Magic. Uh, so I need Gambit because he is one of my favorites and it's also a really good figure, so it would really add to the collection. I could also get the, uh, Retro wave that got released a few years ago because it's on sale at Target online for about the same price as this new one But this new one I think looks a little bit better. I do like that head sculpt a lot uh, And then I have a couple rogues, but none that are like this like I like I mentioned the Age of Apocalypse line Not quite her regular looks. I need to get this version of rogue that kind of looks more like what I imagine when I imagine rogue um, <laughs> I've been going off on tangents a lot, so let's go ahead and get back to the front of the box because I am ready to transition to the figure itself. Okay, so this is pretty much all you get. I already mentioned it with the Bishop figure, but you don't get too, too much with these retro card packs, unfortunately. You do get a little bit more with your Wolverine than you do with your Bishop, I think. I think you get a lot more technically, uh, because you really just didn't get anything with Bishop. Um, but... Starting off, you get these two regular old fist hands without the claws, looking pretty good. You have the nice claw holes on his fist for the claws to kind of pop out, looking pretty good there. Nice classic blue look 
uh, for Wolverine. You have this hood here, which is basically his mask off version. You could apply it on the figure if you wanted to. If not, you don't have to. But if you wanted it to look like Wolverine just pulled his mask down, there you go, looking pretty good. You have the masked version of Wolverine's head, which looks absolutely amazing. Kind of looks a little yellow on camera. It doesn't look like that in person. It looks fine in person, but it looks amazing. It, wonderful, wonderful head sculpt. You have the nice yellow on top. The large, large, large Wolverine, whatever these are, the fins, the, 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 I don't know, <laughs> the mask effect. It looks super crazy, but cool. It, it's very iconic Wolverine look. You also, if you if I get it close enough, you have little stubble on his uh, chin, which I thought uh, it was uh, just a dirty head sculpt, and I actually swapped it out for another Wolverine, and then I saw they both had it, and I'm like, oh, that's actually stubble. That's not, like, a, a bad paint job. It's supposed to be there. It's also on uh, this uh, maskless head sculpt. It's just he has stubble on his chin, so pretty nice detail there, I think. I, I appreciate the the work there and then you have this nice again yellow looking face it looks normal for me but it's yellow on the camera um but you have this nice maskless head right here a little grumpy i'm liking it i'm sure somebody's going to tell me that's a part of the uh the wolverine five pack you it, it's reused blah 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 i don't care i never got the five pack so i needed this head sculpt anyways looking pretty great you have the nice wolverine hair that looks absolutely ridiculous nice fluffed up in the back it looks so <laughs> it looks so stupid who would wear their hair like that uh hugh jackman pulls off as close as you can get to to the, this look without looking absolutely insane you have the nice mutton chops going along the side of his face looking really gnarly and nasty i mean and yes of course the stubble on his chin you can kind of see it's a little bit s small a little hard to notice the detail there you have the nice tiger stripes going down his uh, stomach, you have the stripes over here, the nice black stripes, the black, uh, X-Men logo, slightly X-Men logo, more neutralized than the, uh, Bishop, but the black X-Men logo with the red belt, blue trunks, yellow tights, all the way down to your nice spiky boots that kind of resemble his hair and mask, love the love, love the look of these boots, I think they look absolutely amazing, you have the Wolverine claws, of course, they're just a little bent, but it's like 2023. If you're still upset over your Wolverine claws getting bent, grow up. I mean, that's just, it's going to happen. Uh, these are cheap figures, um, and these claws are not going to, not going to hold shape forever, obviously. It sucks that they do uh, bend and break, but, you know, this is fairly decent. It doesn't look too abnormal to me. I just, I think... It's expected at this point that these claws are going to, like, warp or look a little wonk. That's just, you have to deal with it. You can't get upset over these small things. Like, it does suck, but, like, what can you do? Outside of, like, making it die cast, and then it's dangerous for children, so you really can't do anything about that. Um, the one detail I noticed on this figure that I think kind of blows, you have these bumps on his arms, which in certain lighting can look nice it can look like nice hair but the fact that it's not painted it just looks like he has like tumors growing out of his arms it looks absolutely bizarre i don't know why they went with that choice like if anything just don't go as heavy with it you know just don't make it so absurd i know wolverine's a hairy guy but like if you're gonna do this color it in because it looks a little wonky in the right lighting like i said it looks fine but if like you shine direct light on it, it looks kind of gross. It looks like he has, like, maybe worms under his skin or something. I don't know. Uh, that's the only really negative thing I can notice about this Wolverine figure. Everything else looks pretty fine. Uh, the head sculpt looks good. Everything about the uh, paintwork looks solid. I'm not noticing any major paint defects, minus the arms being like they are. Of course, maybe that is a paint defect. Um... I don't know. I don't remember looking at the other Wolverine to see if he had uh, painted arms or not. So I guess I, I'll have to look into that. I assume it's intentional. It would be absolutely insane uh, for this <laughs> not to be intentional to mess up that badly. Um, 
I did notice online somebody had a Wolverine figure where their knees were different colors. Mine look fine. They look absolutely decent and okay. Uh, no major issues anywhere. I think across the board looking good. So let's go over articulation. I know these Wolverine figures are known for pretty decent articulation. So let's see how this one holds up. Starting with the head. You have this nice hunched back too, by the way, because he's always kind of hunched over just a little bit. Uh, but you have this head sculpt, which goes back like so, pretty decent. He's always looking up at people, so that's pretty good that he can look up pretty good. Uh, looks down just as well. Slight wiggle side to side, rotates all the way around like so. The arms come up to about right there. Uh, yeah, about right there. These gauntlets, or not gauntlets, these shoulder pieces do move, so... When you put one down, it'll go with the arm, which is a bit of a bummer, but it also solves an issue of uh, not having enough room to lift the arms up, I guess. I think maybe they could have done something a little bit better, but this works. I think it's a solution to, a, I guess, a problem. If you want to have this detail here, you kind of have to have something, uh, but it's just screwed into the arm, so you can move it up and down like so. Uh, it is butterfly jointed, so if we look top down, back like so pretty good forward like so also pretty good i'd say rotates all the way around like so so of course if you go like this the shoulder piece will move with it can look a little awkward if he's like doing that obviously that's the only downside i guess among other downsides so it's not the only downside a uh, swivel at the bicep rotates all the way around like so double jointed pinless elbows this is one of the major selling selling points for me that these elbows being pinless goes up to about right there looking pretty decent i'd say wrist goes in wrist goes out wrist goes all the way around like so pretty decent there rotation at the waist goes all the way around like so ab crunch goes back like about that far uh not incredible i guess not terrible either uh, it goes forward very far, though. The crunch forward goes insanely far, I'd say. Uh, which works, because Wolverine, like I mentioned, he's always got that hunched look to him. Always kind of lurking, sneaking forward, so he's always bending at the waist. So I, I'd say that works pretty good for Wolverine. If we add the legs into it, of course, that is fairly deep, fairly decent. Legs come up to about right there, which is also pretty decent. Let's go ahead and push that back just a little bit. He can do the splits. Very deep splits, looking pretty good. I wish they would have painted in there a little bit more. Maybe, I don't know, this whole top half is uh, mostly the trunks. Maybe just paint it or have the base be blue and then paint this yellow. Just to avoid that hassle right there, but I don't know. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Swivel at the thigh, rotates all the way around like so. Double jointed pinless knees, comes up to about right there. Pretty decent, I'd say. Nothing too major with that, nothing wrong there. Swivel at the boot, yes, the boot does swivel. I wasn't sure if it would, but it does. Rotates all the way around. Ankle goes down, ankle goes up, and that is the Wolverine figure. What can I say? I mean, <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. This is the classic look of Wolverine it articulates beautifully it looks wonderful the sculpt across the board is absolutely perfect the articulation is exactly what I wanted out of a Wolverine figure so I think uh, I really got my money's worth with this character I think it looks absolutely wonderful this head sculpt here right here this one looks great this this right here that's such a wonderful effect the claws even though they are slightly bent, and I'm sure they'll bend even more as time goes. Looking good. Um, everything about this figure is exactly what I wanted, so I'm, I'm incredibly happy uh, with this Wolverine figure. I guess because he is of the shorter variety, uh, it would be wise to do a little comparison. So here he is next to the Bishop. Like I mentioned, he is a short guy. So he's he's short next to people. He, he He's comic accurate. He is a short fellow. Uh, I appreciate that. I, pre I appreciate them making him short. Obviously, this isn't like the most unique uh, sculpt of all times. This is mostly reused from Wolverine figures we've had in the past, and they've all been short. So it's not like it, it, it invented the short Wolverine figure, but you know, just status quo. I appreciate that. 
Uh, if you still need a Wolverine figure, this is absolutely the figure you need to be hunting down uh, because it does everything you would want in your Wolverine figure. It, it's pinless, it looks like Wolverine, it's got that classic look. You have all these accessories, not like there's a lot, but you have a lot for modern times. Yeah, this is perfect, especially if you're a fan of the cartoon, but also if you're just a fan of Wolverine in general. Absolutely worth the money here. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with that. Let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. All the things YouTubers ask you to do, just do it for me as well. And I will be back with another video, hopefully, very, very soon. Bye.